All right, guys, welcome back. This is Dr. Travis McDermott, and we're doing another video today. This one's going to be on unlocking the mystery that is the back of the clinic. Um, many people have been to the vet clinic and had a their pet taken to the back by uh, a technician or a doctor and had something done. Uh, it can be scary when we don't really know what's going on or, or what uh, something is. So I want to try to unlock that mystery for you. So when we say the back, we're speaking of our treatment area. So our treatment area is where we get a lot of stuff done. If you pan around, you can kind of see um, there's nothing scary in here. There's no torture devices. There's no nothing that, that we're using to forcefully or hurt, hurt, hurting them to restrain them. Um, it's just an area that we can work. Okay? The exam rooms are great, but sometimes they don't have the light that we need for certain things or the ability to restrain, the ability for me to sit down so they can draw blood uh, in a way that, that works properly. So today we have Lucky. Lucky is here. We're having some issues uh, with our back legs and our hips. Um, sometimes, frequently with these guys as they get older, they start to have some problems. So we're gonna look at going on some arthritis medications, um, different types of medications that we're looking at. And so what we're doing today is we're just trying to get a baseline blood panel, just to make sure that everything's okay with Lucky and that we're not gonna cause any issues with medications. Um, it's also not a bad idea when your pet gets older to check blood work every so often to make sure that we can catch things early. Um, Lucky has had a little bit of increased urination, a little bit of increased drinking. You know, we worry about things like diabetes, kidneys, um, things like that. So we're going to draw some blood and then we're going to try to get some urine with the uh, ultrasound and we'll show you that process. So, all right, Lucky, you ready for this? Okay. Oh my gosh, I know. So you can see here, Sabrina's restraining Lucky. We're not doing anything mean, we're just kind of holding his head up because what we're doing is we're drawing blood from the jugular vein, which is right in the neck, okay? So we'll use alcohol to kind of lay down the fur here. Now these furry dogs, it's a little more difficult, so let's see what we can do here. And uh, see here, we're gonna feel for it. A lot of this is done by feeling these more furry dogs. That always happens every time I try to do this, the needle comes off. Is there anybody from OSHA watching this video? I do not have the syringe cap in my mouth. So you can see we drew blood from the neck there and Lucky didn't even flinch. So we're gonna get our samples and collect those. And so what we're gonna get from this, we're gonna check white blood cells for infection, red cells for anemia. We're gonna check kidney values, liver values, blood sugar, electrolytes, um, just an overall panel. And we're also gonna check the thyroid. Lucky's a little bit on the heavy side, so we're gonna make sure that our thyroid levels are normal. And next, we're gonna get a urine sample and see if we can make sure that there's nothing going on there. So, we're gonna borrow one of our assistants here, if we can find one. But Essa, do you, uh, Ashley, do you mind helping us? Right, so we've got this handy dandy trough here that's padded so it feels good, doesn't hurt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll them onto their back. They generally, oh, lucky. So, there we go. All right, so we're gonna very gently lay lucky down. At first reaction, they don't really like the, the rolling thing, but you'll see that it doesn't hurt them and that they relax as soon as they get there. So, now, Lucky's relaxed, laying there, enjoying herself. So come over here. All right. And next step is that we're gonna draw some urine on Lucky. Here's our stuff. Okay, so. All right, so get our settings set. Our ultrasound picture up. So, right. ultrasound is just the way that we look inside. Um, we can see soft tissue structures. So, I'm gonna need to get a little more alcohol here. Work. All right. So, bladder lives right in about this region here. So, when we did put the ultrasound probe on, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but what we're looking for is big black circle. A lot of times when they have a lot of hair, it's hard to see. All right, 
So it is directly below us here. So needle goes in, urine comes out. Lucky didn't even flinch. And we're done. So hopefully that didn't bother any of you who are squeamish with needles, but it shows you some of the things that we can do when we're in the back. Um, you know, we're not trying to hurt them. We're just trying to put them in, use the tools that we have that we can't use in the exam room. And there are some situations where pets are nervous in the exam room. Um, they may even be a little bit more aggressive. We're not separating them out to try to do something to them or hurt them. Most times with these pets, we'll find that if we separate them from the owners, they're feeling protective. We can bring them back here, they're completely different. So you've now had a look into what we do in treatment. Um, hopefully this makes you feel a little bit better about when you bring your pet into your vet clinic. Um, but once again, I always encourage people, when you go to the vet, if they are doing something that you're un unsure about, that bothers you, ask them. We don't get offended when you ask us stuff. If you want us to try to do something in front of you, we will. Obviously, I can't draw urine in front of you very easily, but if, I, if you want the vaccines done in front of you, which I generally try to do, um, or you need something done that you have questions about, ask. It's always better to ask. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to uh, check out our videos on Facebook at Dr. Travis McDermott Vegas Vet and, and on YouTube at the same name, uh, like and share, please, and subscribe on YouTube. Thank you, guys.